Good morning guys and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be exploring the district of Makati in Manila. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> that would be embarrassing wouldn't it? It looks like a Jurassic Park. It's nice though isn't it? It's, it's just like looks... nice. It's like nice. Today we're heading to our first stop which is actually somewhere where we have explored before. And same with the second stop, this afternoon we're going to go and check out the proper area of Makati, which we've never actually been to. We're heading to martial arts training. What's it called, Gaz? It's called Combat Sports Kalayan. And this is my third time training there, Gaz's fourth. Fifth four, time fifth, training. Fifth time training there. So it's going to be a good start to our day today. And if you are interested in the martial arts scene here in the Philippines, then Gaz has his own martial arts channel where he's traveling around and filming in all different gyms across the world so make sure you follow that as well it's called fighters vaults i'll leave that on the screen and in the description below as well so it'll have quite a few videos out in the philippines so far so yeah make sure you look at that if you want to see more detail of martial arts but yeah let's head to the gym now listen So it is actually election time here in Manila and that song there I was like oh that's catchy and Gaz was like it's literally the song that one of the ladies has made up to like obviously for her campaign. I was like great marketing. Makes me want to be off to singing it all morning at martial arts training now. <laughs> no hands, no problem Gaz. Does it say that? No. Oh yeah. <laughs> Like we said, we've been here like four or five times already. It's a proper martial arts gym, so they've got a team of active fighters um, who fight all around the Philippines. But they also welcome like tourists like us and walk-ins and people here for fitness. So it's just a really, really cool gym. Uh, the trainers are super friendly. Abby loves them. I get really good training. So yeah, we would recommend that you come here. Try something new when you visit Makati, then Thai boxing is such a fun fitness class. I'm always nervous before I go, but as soon as the hour starts, the instructors put you right at ease, and as I'm a complete beginner, we just have a laugh as we train. There is nothing more humbling than doing, oh, gas as fell, doing one of those sessions in the morning. Look at me, I'm bright red. I, I like to think that I'm fit because I go to the gym, but I lift weights, so I'm not cardiovascular fit at all. I, I'd say I'm fairly fit, but I just can't stop sweating in Southeast Asia. <laughs> like, no lie, like I walk, I like run for five minutes and then I, I start dripping in sweat. Yeah, you are a sweaty person. You are just dripping, but it was so fun. We got up at like 8am to do that this morning. It literally starts your day off so well. So we're feeling great. Excited to go and explore. Yeah. Excited to go and explore the rest of Makati after we've had a shower and got some breakfast. So, yeah, a great start to the day. We'd highly recommend there. How much is it, guys? 700 for a class? Pesos, yeah. 700 pesos for a class. And then if you need to hire like gloves and stuff, it's extra. But yeah, feeling great. On today's agenda, obviously my favourite stop, or one of my favourite stops of the day, is a place where we have had breakfast probably about 75% of the time we've been in Makati. It's called Canto Boy, is it? I think so. We'll yeah. have a look when we get outside. It's really, really popular for both Filipinos and tourists. Yeah, the breakfast... Oh. Deep, deep, making all the noise. 
Yeah, it's really, really tasty breakfast and it's just round the back of our hostel, which is why we went so often, but we'll show you it today because we'd highly recommend it, wouldn't we? Yeah, for sure. We've got a nice church here, which is quite beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, the police are outside, Gaz. Maybe they're getting some breakfast too. And Maybe they're like, it's an absolute criminal how good these prices are here. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Run! Oh! Move away from it so it's not as awkward. Yeah. Yeah, look close. Oh, yeah, look close. Ah. Okay, slight change of plan. Apparently, it's closed, which it never normally is at this time, is it? Yeah, I know. There must be something going on. Yeah, that's... It is literally the best breakfast in the whole of Makati. Oh, get it. Now we need to rethink our plan. Maybe we'll have to go further afield. Hello. Hello. this place from our first ever day in the Philippines and Manila. We came here and tried our first ever adobo and to be honest it's been in our mind for a long time so we want to come back here. It's super tasty and to remember we actually called it a bozo as well. The whole oh fruit. god. Bozo flakes. Is it good? Oh my god you're gonna love it. So funny now we've like so been embarrassing. here. We've been here for three months and now like we're obviously very used to like the Filipino food, the culture and the names and stuff. But yeah, we've come back here because we need to taste this again before we leave. Truffle fries. Although, although these fries are 480 pesos. Really? Yeah. Expensive. Truffles are expensive. And then finally, after 12 weeks in the Philippines. Ah, thank you very much. Thank you. I've got the mango shake, no joking. <laughs> I've probably had about 500 mango shakes since I've been in the Philippines. But anyway, we're back and I get to have some of these adobo flakes again. So you get an egg, garlic rice, and then essentially just like the crispiest pork known to man. It's like really crispy bacon bits. It's so good, honestly. Yeah, it is tasty. And you're not having any of it. You never have the vinegar though, do you? No, that's I like it as it is. No, you've got to use the spoon. People have said you need to use a spoon, not a fork. I use the fork. No, you need to use a spoon. You'll get blasphemy. People will comment. Hey, you have some of mine. Yeah. Take You've just had some of mine. I want some of the actual adobo. Yeah, yeah. There's no thing on it. There's no... Come on, Gaz. Some of mine and Gaz's biggest arguments are about sharing food. That's the worst portion I've ever seen. All right, you can have less if you're going to be... You mean food? Just That's not too much, is it? Mm. It's so good. It's literally so good. I don't know what makes it so nice, but it's just banging, isn't it? Thank you. Bye. Thank you, sir. So that was absolutely tasty, but it cost 1,900 and... 30, yeah, something like that. Which is about $35, so it's definitely not obviously a cheap restaurant to go into, but I think because we're in like a biz the business district, isn't it, Makati? Yeah, there's, lo there's loads of um, like work lunches and stuff and business meetings going on there, so yeah. Yeah, and then there's just us backpackers in our like t-shirts and shorts as per usual. Anyway, we've this is about as far into Makati as we've come so far. We've never explored any further, so I think the plan is we're just going to go for a walk and have, find out what we can see. Yeah, have just a have a mooch around. Yeah. So we are walking down Makati Avenue and it's very much giving BGC but busier vibes, isn't it? But it's a bit more grand than London, that's for 
offshore with the massive buildings and it's got loads of nice trees lining the street. It feels like there's a skyscraper going up on every corner where there isn't one in there. Yeah. Like, there's so much building work and stuff. Yeah. So many like positive, like fancy restaurants as well. Yeah, no, you wouldn't you wouldn't expect that at all, especially the area of Makati that we are. It feels a little bit more like chilled Fili Filipino vibes, doesn't it? It feels a bit more like yeah. localised, whereas this is like it's very your business ditch district, business, isn't it? Yes. Banks, look, there's a Rolex shop there. Oh yeah. Good old Rolex. Go on, Gaz. Get yourself a Rolex. Oh, I, I can afford a Casio. <laughs> After that lunch, anyway. Yeah. Okay, we're heading to Greenbelt. It's like an air vent that's coming uh, up. It's all cool. Oh, that is nice. Uh, yeah, we're heading to Greenbelt. Gazlas literally went, are we going to a mall? Because I'm too hot. And I was like, I'm pretty sure this Greenbelt is a, a mall. So it looks, it looks like it's an outdoor shopping place, no? I don't know. You kind of walk around. There's it. like four up to the look from what that sign says. So. Oh, no, here it is, right. Let's oh, we're Greenbelt 5. Let's go in there, shall we? Let's go in and get some air cups, shall we? Yeah. Green bad bad. Oh. Hello. Hello. Oh, sweet release of the heat. Yeah, this is gosh. Yeah, this is fancy. Yeah, out of my budget. <laughs> The Christmas tree, that's cool, isn't it? Yeah. This, it, looks like this. A rich place. it looks like a rich Christmas tree, doesn't it? It does look We like don't need any baubles. <laughs> we don't need any lights. Like... It's nice though, isn't it? It's, it's just like looks... nice, it's like nice shots. Even the interiors are like more posh than like Mall of Asia, isn't it? Like in the Mall of Asia would have its jingle playing and like all of like the Christmas decor that's like, I don't know, all baubles and stuff for us here. It, it looks classy. The, the decor looks classy. I feel like we need just more aircon for now, so we'll have a look, we'll have a look around. Okay. I'll let this out. Yeah. Oh, so, Zara! I love Zara. We're definitely going this way. Okay, now. we'll go upstairs first. That's the wrong escalator. <laughs> <laughs> that would be embarrassing, wouldn't it? Outside of, of whatever, belt. Tory Birch, the gals are just like <laughs> falling down. Tired walking up the down escalator. Yeah, almost got kicked out. <laughs> oh, funny. Hi, Neil. Oh, this is a food place. We should have got food here. Suki. We've got your usual corporates, guys. Time zone. And you said there wouldn't be an ice skating ring. I don't think there will be, will How there? Do you know? We'll go find one. We'll play out of it. Here we are, the lush oasis inside the Greenbelt. I don't know what it's called, the Greenbelt Park, maybe? But it is very nice. There's loads of restaurants around the edge with like places you can sit and eat. And just tons of greenery, isn't there? Yeah. I feel like you're in a jungle. It is quite cool, isn't it? Yeah. It's really warm here, though. Or is yeah. it just because we've got no air con? No, wanna... it's, it's like you're in a um, greenhouse. Yeah. <laughs> greenhouse at the green belt. Yeah. So that wasn't the green belt. That was just a <laughs> bit leading to the park. I think this bit here is the actual park now, oh, yeah. which just shows how bloody massive this place is. Yeah, that was stupid though. I was like, wow. No, look, there's natural oh, there, pond look. here as well. There's the pond. Okay, this is much nicer yeah, exactly. than the last place. Oh, we've got a Starbucks, our usual. Oh, Starbucks. I've not had one today. Yeah, very nice. Oh, no, he looks fine. Hello. You friendly? Yes. Oh, the nice kitty. If there's a cat anywhere, I will stroke it. That's just the rules, guys. Oh, this is pretty as well, isn't it? So I think this is the church. Oh. Look. Whoa. So there's a church in the middle of, so there's, yeah, this is the church I was talking about. So there's a church in the middle of the green belt, shopping center, which is cool. Look, I think there's a big like cross statue here. It looks like a Jurassic Park. Can you go in? Go in, maybe. Oh. oh, there's another cat over there as well. You're in the way, love. Wow. This is not a passing through point. Holy cat. Hello. Wow, it's pretty beautiful. Now that's one of the most spectacular churches ever. Imagine having a church in the UK in the middle of a shopping centre. 
people would not be respectful, I'll tell you that, but it was beautiful in there. We didn't really want to go in too much because people were actually praying, but yeah. It's really cool that it's in the middle of this, isn't it? Yeah. And it had a nice setting. It is cool. And some nice kitties. Yeah, oh, green, green belt is a tick from me. I know, and now I'm contemplating which I like best, BGC or um, Makati, which is, I know you shouldn't, shouldn't compare areas, but for living in as well, I was saying to girls, like, it's quite varied, like where we are staying in Makati, it's like more localised. And then you come here and it's got all the posh stuff that you'd want. And then, yeah, it's much bigger than BGC, I think, personally. Look at this. It's like a dome. All right, as you can see, it is absolutely chucking it down with rain. So we are going to do a little bit more exploring, but I think we'll call it a day here after exploring the main Greenbelt shopping centre and we're going to catch up with you guys in a few hours when we show you a little bit more of Makati in the area that we have been staying in as well. Okay, we're ending our final few hours in Makati up on the rooftop of our hostel, which is Lugdi Hostel, and the place is called Essential, Essential Pilgrims. Essential goodness for pilgrims. It's a rooftop bar, but there's loads of cool rooftop bars here in Makati as well. But we're, this is obviously convenient for us. And the best part is this absolutely unbelievable view that we have right behind us now. So it's like a proper skyline of Makati, and it's just epic when you're up here having a drink. So we'd highly recommend coming to do this. We're just going to sit, have some dinner here and contemplate on our time in the Philippines as it is actually our final day here and we can't believe we've been here for three months now. I think we've filmed over something like 30 videos so if you haven't checked them all out make sure you look at them in the playlist as well. But yeah, let's enjoy our dinner and talk about all of the good things that have happened over the past three months in the Philippines. Wow guys, three months, 31 videos, 12 islands, 17 destinations, hundreds of friends later and our Philippines series has come to an end. It has been epic and a country that will stick with us for the rest of our lives. We'll be sharing all the behind the scenes including highs and lows, funny stories, travel tips and answering if we'll be returning all in a live stream on Saturday. We would love to hear any questions too so please drop them in the comments below and don't forget to be reminded for the live stream. Anyway for now, Thank you and goodbye to a country that is filled with breathtaking beaches, turquoise water, dramatic scenery and most importantly beautiful people. We hope you continue to follow along our journey where we uncover the best bucket list activities and meet friendly locals around the world.